So you got some Bitcoin, understand its importance. It's time for you to discover what a Bitcoin node is and its importance to run one yourself. My name is Darren. I help the everyday guy like you and me with Bitcoin. In this video, I'm going to show you what a Bitcoin node is, five reasons to run a Bitcoin node. And at the end, I'm going to show you an easy way to do it yourself. In general, Bitcoin node is a participant of the network. This can be a computer, server, phone, any device that stores and transmits information. Today, Bitcoin has morphed into three main types of nodes. And the first one is a mining node. Now this is a Bitcoin miner you're probably familiar with. Essentially, they are in a race to create blocks by organizing the latest transactions and finding the block reward. This reward is in Bitcoin. It has become so competitive, miners have run special Bitcoin software to help them create the size and format blocks and optimize and use computer power to find that block reward. Once this is complete, they propose that new block to the other nodes of the network. The next type is what's called a light node. This is probably what you're most familiar with and you have used because a Bitcoin wallet is an example of a light node. Light nodes run software that reference the blocks information, whether a transaction has been accepted or not. And this is what you see on your Bitcoin wallet. They don't store and update the actual Bitcoin history because typically they are on a device like a phone, a tablet that just don't have the ability to run the entire Bitcoin history and the software. So to get that information, they need to reference the third category in a Bitcoin full node. And all of these nodes together make up the decentralization of Bitcoin. From now on, when I talk about a Bitcoin node or whenever you typically hear a Bitcoin node, most people are talking about a Bitcoin full node. The two functions it sure serves is to keep a track of the Bitcoin's ledger, who all the holders are, all of the transactions, and the second is to store that Bitcoin rule set, the software, and how it can be transmitted. Now there's five main reasons you should run a node. And number one is certainty. Whether you know it or not, everyone who is using Bitcoin is connected to a node. The wallet or Bitcoin service you're using is relaying you the information from their own node or a community node. You trust their node to give you the correct information. The second is voting power. Nodes get to choose the rule set of the blockchain that they're running. The largest consensus rule set and historical chain of Bitcoin is what makes Bitcoin. Now, the only way you can change Bitcoin is by nodes accepting new rules to the protocol. When you rely on another node, they might choose different rules on your behalf, kind of voting on where Bitcoin's future is headed. If you want more information on this, read up on the block size wars and how Bitcoin Cash came to be. Third reason is privacy. When you're using another node, they can track your data, including your transactions, your addresses, even your IP address can be linked to you in some way or another. Now, using your own node, you can have the privacy and security of not sharing this with anybody else. It does come with some responsibility because there are privacy trade-offs when you run your own node if you don't do it properly. Fourth is the strength of the network. Bitcoin exists through the nodes. If all nodes were shut down or destroyed, Bitcoin would no longer exist. This answers the age-old question of how could Bitcoin be shut down? The task at hand would be to go to every single node and destroy it. Bitcoin would still exist as long as one node still has the history of the transactions and the rule sets of the protocol. You can help make the network more robust by adding a node to the network, kind of a strength in numbers. And the fifth reason is what they call an Uncle Jim. So you can be a node for your friends, family, for your business, for your community, and become a valuable network that people can trust your node. The basics of a Bitcoin node is essentially downloading Bitcoin Core. And this is a software that's free, open source for everybody to use. Currently, the entirety of the blockchain is about 475 gigabytes. First of all, you're gonna need all that space on your computer to run this software. Seems easy enough, but the problem is you also have to run it 24 seven seven days a week if you want to receive payments, make payments without interruption. Another problem is Bitcoin Core by itself does not easily connect to your average consumer wallet you would download on a desktop or the app store. You would have to run some scripts, do some coding to connect it to Electrum or connect it to the wallet app of your choice. And that's just not realistic for the average person like you and me. For this reason, there are many off-the-shelf node softwares that make it easy, plug and play, they even come with or suggest building separate computers in order to run this software 24-7 so you're not putting strain on your own computer. 
all these nodes come pre-configured. All you need to do is install it, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and power it up. Okay, the one I personally use and recommend is Start9. They have software where you can download it and use your own hardware, or you can head to their store where you can purchase their own hardware that makes it just easy, plug and play, you connect to your Wi-Fi and you're good to go. You can even get a discount on their store by using my referral link below. If you like this video, I have lots of other videos on my channel explaining how to use Bitcoin, what it is, the tools I recommend, the tools I don't recommend, or you can visit my links in the description for a full list of my Bitcoin tutorials, written tutorials, or just connect with me. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you, you may have, and uh, thanks for watching.